Hello everyone, welcome back to Smart Kings of TV and in this tutorial we are going to be looking at how to solve common Facebook ads payment issues. So you're trying to run ads on Meta and Facebook is either telling you that they cannot approve a temporary hold on your account or that your card has been disabled or any of these issues that keeps springing up these days. Well, I know how annoying this can actually be when you're trying to run ads to, you know, get more visibility for your business. And it seems that Facebook is just trying to ruin all your efforts where well, you want to stay until the end of this tutorial because here we are going to be ironing it out together. So stay tuned. Facebook is saying that we are unable to place a temporary hold on your card. Try again or update your default payment method. If you try again, make sure that your card has sufficient funds first. So this is actually somebody's account. And um, this person wanted me to help resolve this issue that she was having with making payments for her ads. It wasn't really as though she was having this issue initially because she was using this ad account to run as before. But all of a sudden, she just discovered that um, when she tries to fund her ads, when she tr when she runs ads, the ad actually shows active. Like everything gets um, goes on well. It goes on smoothly. She publishes the ad. It gets approved. But then the ad is not delivering and there is money in the ads account, as you can see here. But then um she was actually wondering what the issue was when i checked i saw that this was what the issue was all right so um what facebook is saying that we we are supposed to that they want to um place a temporary hold on the ad account you can read more about what this means later on but this just means that they want to be sure that your card has some money in it before they actually you know proceed to run before they actually proceed to you know start delivering your ads and this happened because at the initial stage of setting up this ad account this person had um, entered the debit card information so facebook wants to charge that card but then there was probably no money in the ad in the in the card or there was money but for some you know funny reasons they are not just recognizing that there is money in, in it you know it's really very frustrating and she had even funded the ad account with you know this amount of money but then the thing is not just adding up so you know i tried to actually help resolve this by entering another card information i entered my own card information and then i tried the hold again after ensuring that there was even sufficient funds in that account but it still did not work i click on try hold again and then you know it's saying the hold is unsuccessful i enter i you know i added another payment method and then i tried again but then it still wasn't successful so after doing some research what i needed to have done was to um you know remove this limit on the ad account all right i was supposed to you know remove the limit on this ad account but from what i can see you know other people who tried it actually were able to you know do it because you know their accounts were either in dollar or it was a postpaid account right but you know um normally there are no you know um payment threshold on prepaid accounts so there was actually no way i could actually change the um the spending limit because you know it's not even allowing me there there are not there are no options here to actually you know reset the spending limit so that is where the issue right now is and um for that reason this account is actually not able to run as right now you know um even when there is funds in it and it's just so unfortunate that she might actually you know not be able to use these funds again although we are still going we are still doing our research and um, hopefully we would be able to you know resolve this issue very very soon hopefully we would get to speak to a meta customer service representative and then we'd be able to help you know recover this ads account but what i've advised her to do which is what i'm actually advising you to do right now also is to create another ads account so if you're having this kind of issue or any other kind of um issues with you know paying for your adverts on facebook you know sometimes it could be they are saying that they, they, they um they are not accepting the debit card you're using or that the debit card you're using has expired or any issue at all that you just find with um any error message you're getting and you know that has actually led facebook to disabling your ad account i'm going to be showing you what you need to do and that is to create another ad account all right and you want to ensure that when you are creating a new ad account, ensure that it is no longer a postpaid account, but a prepaid account that allows you to fund your account before running ads. So don't click on debit card or credit card because at the end of the day, something just goes wrong with the card and Facebook is no longer able to charge. So you want to ensure that you create a new ad account that 
um, allows you to make payments with PayU to fund your ads account and then so that your you know ads can just go on smoothly without having any issues all right and to be able to create another ads account you need to have a business manager so everybody who has who owns a facebook profile can actually create a business manager it's actually free to create so what a business manager actually helps you to achieve is that it helps you to create multiple ads accounts and also helps you to you know um, manage some um, other you know of your advertising asset like your pages your instagram accounts your whatsapp accounts your whatsapp business accounts your pixels and all what's not all right so um once you come to your ads account all you just need to do is to go to all tools and then go to navigate to business settings and then from business settings you will be able to assess um your you know you'll be able to assess this the place where you'll be able to create another ad account and also add your other pages as well in case you need to also manage that from here also you can also create another page from here also like you can create a business page from here also from your business manager all right so um to, if you don't already have a business manager creating one is very easy so um all you just need to do is to go to business or facebook.com and then you know it's going to um, give you directions on how to go about creating your business manager all right so once you're done creating your business manager it's going to be bringing you to an interface like this and then you can go on to create your ads account for this particular account i um i had tried it before and i was not able to create another ad account and that is because um, because of all the limitations on her account right now facebook has placed a limit on the number of ads accounts she can actually create for now she can only request access to an ads account all right so talk about um how that facebook places a lot of you know limitations on you know advertisers and it's just as though you're trying to frustrate your effort so you just have to you know be very careful when your you know when you start to advertise on your platform so that they don't frustrate your effort right but then of course advertising on the facebook um platform is very profitable for your business so you want to ensure that you do everything possible to just be on their good side even though sometimes you just can't know what would go wrong all right so um i'm not going to be using this account i'm just going to go on to create the business um the create to create the ads account on another account that i also manage all right so I'll come to business settings and then I'll go to um, ads accounts and then I'll I'll click on create another ads account. So hopefully this one does not also have limitations. So I'm just going to select the business manager and um, it's a new ad account. So watch what I'm going to do to create a post paid account, right? So it says account, ad account name. So I'm going to add the ad account name. So um. Then for the time, the time zone, of course, if you're in Nigeria or any other place that you are, you're going to be entering your time zone. And then the currency is Nigeria, except you want to, except you want to operate a dollar account. In which case, um, it's most it's most likely won't be repeat anymore. All right, so I'll click on next. And then it will ask you, who will this ad account be used for? Just click on this first option, my business, and then click on create. So now it's going to ask you to add people and set permissions. What this means is that you're going to be able to be the one to use this ad account to run ads. So I'll just click on this name and then i'll click on full control and then i'll click on assign so i'm doing this in order to be able to use this ad account to run because remember this is a business manager all right this is a business manager and it's most likely isn't connected to the profile until you add your name as the person who is in charge of it that is your profile um username as a person who is in charge of the account so if you want someone else to manage the ad account you would also give them permission as well all right so the account has been created successfully and the next thing we want to do is to add payment information which is going to you know be the determining determining factor of whether this ad account is going to be a prepaid or a postpaid account all right so for the business location and currency if you're in nigeria you add nigeria and then nigerian currency and then you click on next Then right here is where we are going to ensure that this account is a postpaid account. 
So instead of clicking on debit or credit card, which would allow Facebook to charge you after it, you know, after your ads have run to it, um, you know, up to a particular amount, you're going to be creating on Nera payments with PayU. All right. So click on Nera payments with PayU, then click on next, and then it's going to actually take you to you know add some money into this ad account which you just want to do right off the roof, all right? Just do that right off so that the account is secured as a prepaid account, all right? So when you click on next, it's going to ask you to enter your payment information. So just um, skip this one, skip this tax information, and then go on to, you know, add your card details, the amount you want to, you know, add to this account. So let's say I want to enter 500, then click on next. So it's going to ask you to open Nera payments with MasterCard or Visa. So this is the, the card that you're going to be using to, you know, make payments into this account. So it's either you're going to be using a MasterCard or a Visa card. So any other card aside from this one may likely not work, all right? So if you don't have a MasterCard or a Visa card, you want to get one for yourself. So this is just to ensure that things are actually smooth sailing for you, all right? So click on open Nera payments with MasterCard or Visa card, and then it's going to take you to another window all right so you click on continue and then it's going to be asking you to enter the card information all right so for me there has been a visa card that i've been using for over a year now and unfortunately it's going to be expiring by february so i'm going to ensure that i renew that card bef um, before it even expires because it has been the saving grace for me ensuring that i pay for all my ads um you know seamlessly so this is actually different from um you know allowing facebook to debit the the, the funds from the card directly what i do is that i make payments into this my wallet into my you know as account wallet you know using this my mastercard so this that is what i would advise you to do in 2024 just to ensure that your payment for your ads are seamless and that your ads are running smoothly all the time all right so after you've You've clicked on that part. It takes you here and all you need to do is to enter the card information and then click on pay. So the next thing you're going to be doing is that they will send you um, a code. All right. They'll send you. Okay. Let me. Okay. So they'll send you a code. Um, so the transaction is going to be between pay you and your bank. So after you've entered this information, they're going to ask you to approve for an OTP code to be sent to your bank. So the OTP code is going to be sent to either your email or the phone number associated with your account, all right? So after that is done, you've copied the OTP and you've entered it here, then you click on approve and the payment is um, completed, all right? So after it's completed, you will not see a successful message. So when you check back on your, um, when you check back on your ad account and in the payment session, you're going to be seeing the money reflected there. All right, so let me click on, let me click on, let me go back to an ads account and then the payment is going to be reflected there. And then you're going to be seeing the payment. Um, You're also going to be seeing the payment information. All right, so it's going to be showing you all the payments you've made. And then whenever you want to run ads, you can just go on to run your ad without any issue. So the only thing you're going to be doing is to fund your ad account anytime that the fund in your account exhaust all right so that is just a simple way to resolve the issue with you know making payments for your ads account all right and then if you're going to be um if you're going to be running if you're going to be posting this post to um on on your instagram or even on your facebook page you want to ensure that this ad account is associated with your pages and what you want to do is to ensure that you link your facebook page the facebook page you're going to be using for this ads you link it to your um your um your facebook page all right so link your facebook page to the business manager and associate it with the ad account and do the same thing for your instagram account as well all right so try that and in case it doesn't work you want to see this next video i'm going to be creating where i'm going to be showing you how to create a business manager properly and how to link both your instagram account your whatsapp account and your facebook account to the business manager all right so i'm going to be leaving the link in the description of this video so that you can check it out all right and if you're not yet subscribed to uh, my channel you want to do that quickly because here i do videos showing you how to ensure that advertising on meta and on other platforms is seamless and easy for you 